I've known uh, Adrian and uh, Jimmy uh, over the last uh, three, four years uh, as parishioners here. Uh, one of their children made their first communion uh, just before Jimmy's death. This particular inquiry, this particular commission, particularly follows on the death of Jimmy Mabenga, who, who died under restraint from G4S guards in an aircraft at Heathrow. A distressing incident, not just because of what happened to Jimmy Mabenga, but also for all the people in the aircraft who witnessed the events leading up to his death. We want to be involved with uh, the whole process of trying to make sure that this doesn't happen again um, because that's the right thing to do. We've met with people um, during our commission work who've given evidence of what's happened to them and I think that it would be brilliant if more people from the Zimbabwean community could come forward and give evidence because we want as much evidence as possible that we can present to the government to show how people are being treated and how the fear that is within our communities which needs to be stopped. I once put in a dossier to the Home Office produced by Medical Justice and others containing documented complaints of very large numbers of people who had been injured or treated badly during the process. And so what we're aiming to do now is to eliminate that culture of disbelief and make certain that anyone who seeks sanctuary in this country is treated properly. And that is something which we should take nationally as something very serious that we should perform. In a situation like this where it seems like there hasn't been any justice, that it doesn't happen again. And the way that it won't happen again is by negotiating with uh, Reliance, uh, holding them to account for what they do, uh, and trying to improve the, uh, the procedures that they use. I went to see the minister responsible for immigration, Damien Green, and told him that we were just not another critic to be treated as such. But this was a very, very serious, involved, inside attempt to help, and therefore asked him to nominate a senior person from the UKBA to come and take part, which he has done. Similarly, I know the Managing Director of Reliance and before they took the contract I knew that they were very concerned about some of the procedures that they were being asked to implement. So exactly the same invitation has been issued to Reliance for them to come along representing the contractors. They have taken part and I believe that that is the right way to take something as important as this forward. So that although, of course, we're going to be critical, we're not just being confrontational for confrontation's sake because the issues are too important to be treated like that. We know that people have to go, but then that has to be done humanely uh, and with dignity. We need to involve the community with this. Um, if the community had been involved, if members of the community, our community here had been with Jimmy, on the day that he died, well, he would not have died. It wouldn't have happened like that. Um, so we need to engage with, the, with our community, with Reliance, to make sure that it doesn't happen again. When Jim Benga died, there was a huge outcry from this Zimbabwean community. I think there was a lot of fear from the people because everybody had a friend or a family member or someone they knew going through the asylum process. Uh, in addition to that, I think the biggest fear was around those people that were held in detention or had been threatened with deportation um, and so there was so much fear within the community that somebody from within our community could end up dead. Anyone who has got any evidence of any examples of treatment that is less than you would expect of a civilised country, please come forward and help us with it by bringing it to us and then we can investigate it.